tragedy in Jersey City is the latest in a string of attacks and other hate crimes on the Jewish community in the tri-state area. With us now is Rachel Grinspan from the Anti-Defamation League. She is the Associate Regional Director of the ADL New York and New Jersey. Thank you, Rachel, for being here. Thank you. Just, just first, your reactions and, and message that you want to give to those who suffered yesterday. Of course. Uh, this is a devastating, devastating attack, um, regardless of, of course, whoever it would be. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, um, we stand in solidarity with these families who now have to deal with this tragedy very, very individually, as well as the entire Jersey City community, the Jewish community there, and the law enforcement community who has also lost one of their own. We know that the uh, police officials in Jersey City, after looking at surveillance video, they have said they believe this was a targeted attack because they saw the gunman on this video going toward the kosher grocery store. Um, I'm wondering, also, I felt during watching all of the coverage, we saw Evan Bernstein, the regional director for the Anti-Defamation League of New York and New Jersey, right there yesterday. Um, and, and just talk about the importance of him being there, not knowing hardly anything except who was in that store. You know, I think it's very difficult uh, when you hear of an emergency situation like that to determine what's going on with very little information, especially when it's unfolding so quickly. But it is important for the Anti-Defamation League to be um, the, what we would call the 911 for the Jewish community. And being there in, in the off chance, or unfortunately when it does happen, mm -hmm. that it's an emergency where it is an attack on a Jewish Jewish individual, a Jewish attack on a, a, a Jewish community, um, or something of that nature. So it is important for us. We always want to be there. We are here to help, and we are here to be counted on as a resource, whether it be for um, assistance, to liaise with law enforcement, to find out what's going on, to see what's happening, and then to advocate um, for individuals that need advocating. Um, Commissioner Dermot Shea saying during a press conference this afternoon that uh, hate crime uh, attacks against the Jewish community year to year up 22 percent in New York City. 22 percent. Yes. It's very disturbing. Um, and we have seen these numbers be increasing over the year, as well as from last year, uh, in addition, in New York State. We have tallied these anti-Semitic incidents, whether it be that somebody has been arrested or not, um, through our internal um, processing system. We do an audit, and we see numbers drastically increasing. And it's very concerning. And it's disturbing on very many levels. Um, and it's particularly concerning as the increase we've noted in Brooklyn. We know that the Jersey City residents, part of them, uh, the community there, uh, who have many ties, and we know that um, one, if not both, of the ones who passed away have the ties to Brooklyn. Um, you know, it's, it's like today, you just, is there a feeling of just being unsafe, not wanting to walk out the door? Nobody wants to live like that. Yeah, I think that that is a very real reality right now, especially for individuals in the more visibly Jewish religious community. Mm -hmm. um, they are afraid to walk down the street. They're afraid to go about their day. And nobody should have to be concerned about practicing their religion openly and fearing that they're going to be a target. And I think that that is a very real concern. And we're seeing that not only because of the uptick in the hate crime statistics, but in scenarios where individuals in Pittsburgh, in Poway, and now here, possibly, depending on whether the final confirmations sure. come out. But if all of these signs point towards where they look like it could be, um, we are now dealing with possibly a third attack on the Jewish community within 18 months, which is is unfathomable. You mentioned something I just want to touch on before we go. And uh, during the, the mayor's press conference, uh, Rabbi David uh, Niederman also spoke today talking about education, educating uh, uh, children, getting so children under, understand the history. Um, in this case, we're speaking of Jewish history, but we're really talking about everybody. That's right. That we understand each other. That's right. And I think that the Anti Defamation League conducts hundreds of thousands of educational programmings throughout the country, uh, specific to region, and they tailor make it depending on the age of the child. And we institute anti-bias and anti-bullying training in over 200 schools within the tri-state area to try to explain and educate children because we need to start sticking up for each other. We have to be allies. We need to stand up and we need to kind of show children at an age-appropriate level, not only that they can stand up and stop bullying, and that's 
we know that the Holocaust did not just start with the concentration camps. It started with words. It started with biased attitudes. And it was, uh, uh, it grew from there. Mm -hmm. And people looked the other way. They didn't speak up for their neighbors who they might have felt were different than them or not in their own community. And we've seen the very real effects of what happens when just a comment is let go or just a swastika is ignored. And that's something that individuals can do now is they can speak up even though it might be uncomfortable for their friends or families if there is an offhanded comment made. They can call the police if they see a swastika. And we shouldn't just think, oh, somebody else might have seen it and they called too. We all need to take this into our own responsibilities to make law enforcement officials aware of what they see in their own community so that it can be addressed and then we can also address it in a holistic way educationally through school programming so not only do the children understand to be allies and stick up for one another regardless of your background but also to ensure that they understand the history towards what happened and how so quickly it can become um, such a dire situation. Such a dire, the, the, what you said are definitely words for all of us, all of us. Thank you. Thank you. For being here, Rachel Grinspan. She's the uh, Associate Regional Director of the Anti-Defamation League New York and New Jersey office. Thank you. Thank you.